Now, what we do is change fault. The moment we change fault, I had nothing to do with it. What happens? I'm not responsible for this anymore, am I? And if I'm not responsible, don't go blaming me. Now, if you want to overcome all that, stop disappointing yourself, reduce your expectations of what other people are going to do for you. If they do it, awesome. If they bring it, yes. If they don't, they don't have to unless it is supposed to be. If there is an agreement, if there is a contract, if there is not, your expectations you might fail yourself. So what do we do? We hope for the best but expect less. Why am I here and why am I taking it? It becomes the same as when anxiety is happening or panic is happening, you're validating. I'm doing it because I choose to. There is no gun and there is no force, okay? Because you also have a choice not to do it. So expect, and at the same time, there's consequences for that one. So once we have a choice, it becomes easier for us to function. What do they say? What do they do? While I'm exercising, I'm supposed to feel good, but my mind is racing over there. Now, is that loving? Please, guess what? You're not doing anything loving to your body. That's creating more stress, and while you're pumping your body, that's taking it faster. It is. It's taking it faster and incorporating it in there. If you think watching the news and exercising is loving to yourself. All right? This down. We move towards our most dominant thought pattern. Every single day, day in and day out, we move towards our most dominant thought pattern. If our most dominant thought pattern is something that we want to succeed, that is our aim, that is our goal, that is what we are going to do. And at that moment, if there is any time that you say, I'm going to try, oof, I already did what? I, I set myself up that I may fail. Okay? Because I now, my direction changed. I got derailed. But when I say I'm going to do my best to be there, that means I will do my best. You? Who would like to come in and for me to release an anxiety or anything negative at this very moment? Within two minutes. Come on down. Rebecca, what is happening in your body at this very moment that you feel any type of an anxiety or stress that you would like to let go? Um, I would like to get rid of my procrastination habit. I have a project that I'm avoiding and I keep thinking about it because I keep avoiding it. So it's not the procrastination habit, it is avoidance. It. And how is this project affecting me? Why are you avoiding it? The way I avoid it is I do everything else but that. Okay. And not interested in it. I think it I don't think of it as an interesting project, but I know I have to do it. Okay. So there's no passion, there's no interest and it's a must. It's a must. It's a, Are you a left brain or are you a right brain? I'm a I would say I'm a left brainer. Left brainer. Well, the left is the logic. The logic. So right. Aha. Uh -huh. right See? I'm a right brainer. <laughs> there you go. I like to do things that feel good and are entertaining yeah. and it's playful. Right. Correct? That's right. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a handle on that one. What is the project's name? Uh, Contracts 101. Contracts 101. And what does contract mean? Uh, that's my specialty. I'm a contract. Yeah. Look what I'm doing. What am I doing? Has anybody realized what I'm doing? Bradford? Tapping. She's tapping all over the place. I'm tapping all over the place, aren't I? I'm creating a balance between the left side and the right side. I, we're creating a harmony. So every time I go and move around, what am I creating? I'm creating harmony and balance. Yeah. Now, every time you have something negativity that it's happening, when we tap our heart and we open our heart chakra and we can handle it and see what is happening and we can create and shift it and say, 
no matter what is happening, I can still accept and love myself through it and for it. Guess what? Will it become easier for you to do this project yeah. now? Yeah. From the scale of 1 to 10, if it was really bad, 10, is it easier now? Yeah, it's easier. How much easier would that be if you go and do it this week? It'll be a 2 or a 3. 2 or 3. Correct. Did we release stressor in just 2 minutes? Good. Now, if you... Thank you very much. Ah, thank you. Now, if this continues, and what we do in therapy, when I do something that is much deeper and not as simple as that, and I thank you for it, and if we go around doing hypnosis while they are in their subconscious mind, to open that file to edit the things that we no longer wish to keep inside, guess how much more effective that is? Becomes 99% more effective. Okay? So if the reward is great, or the pain is really bad, and the person is ready for the change, when you forgive yourself for holding on to the negativity of I can't, or I was told I can't, and choose to release it, boom, you come to the acceptance of making the difference for yourself. Working on it, your mind is more powerful than anything else. It's because the mind has power over our body. So if we create a habit, guess what? We can decreate it.